one, but I'll let you come behind and maybe give us a little bit of depth. For the first time, Fish, Wildlife and Parks intentionally started a fire to benefit wildlife. This is really one of our first prescribed fires that we've done in an organized fashion on our wildlife management areas to try to reintroduce fire back into the landscape to, as a habitat management tool. With help from the Department of Natural Resources, this prescribed burn will provide more big game forage and benefit other animals too. From the forage standpoint, it's gonna clean up some of that needle litter and some of that dead grass, and that's gonna create some new space for some new plants. One really neat thing is that it's gonna fire scar some ponderosa pine trees because then those trees are gonna become standing dead snags and the birds will use those, they'll excavate cavities in those, and then eventually they'll fall over and become habitat for lots of small mammals. So just kinda creating a diversity of habitat. Controlled burns also help reduce future fire severity. In doing this thinning and also using the fire, we can have some fuels reduction on the landscape. You know, I think that's important too, is, is being a good neighbor and managing our fuel hazards on our lands so that they don't become a problem for firefighters and communities. FWP plans on more controlled burns in the future. A lot of these forests that were adapted to frequent fire, you know, every five to 25 years, now have missed that cycle. And so we're playing catch up with the fire. Which will benefit more wildlife and reduce severe forest fires in the future. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.